Uh, morning everyone. Um, I have got a little word for you today um, from taken from Joshua and uh, we all know this verse really really well and it says um, have I not commanded you be strong and courageous do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go and that was um, taken from Joshua 1 verse 9 and Joshua can be found in the Old Testament so I just wanted to just relay a little story to you just about how about being strong and being courageous. Now um, it was last year, just about um, around about Christmas time, I had to go um, I had to go and have a blood test um, done in um, one of the clinics sort of near where I live. So it's all you go into any of these um, blood clinics to have your blood taken, and my goodness, they're always really heaving with people. So I just this particular morning went in, went in there, and there was like something like thirty people in front of me. So so many people, and it was like no, there was no seat, so you had to wait outside, um, stand up outside. So you know, I just thought, well, okay, I've got to wait for a little while, just wait, and stood outside in the corridor. And I sort of, uh, as I stood in the corridor, I sort of stood next to a young lady beside me, and. Uh, she sort of looked at me and I smiled and I said, hi, how are you doing? And she went, oh yeah, hi, I'm, I'm okay, thank you. And then uh, we just uh, started started chatting. So I was, first of all, was chit-chit-chatting about, you know, oh, what do you do? Oh, you know, she said, I'm a beautician. I said, oh, that's nice. I said, oh, my daughter's um, uh, studying for that. So um, then she said, oh, what do you do? I said, oh, I'm a nurse. And I just sort of went into, didn't go into too long a day of what I do. And then we just got, we just really got chatting. And so, you know, and then a lady walked in. So she walked in through the door and both of us thought she was going to go over, top, really, really top on her feet. So we went over to sort of make sure she was okay. And I was like, she was like, oh my gosh, you know. She said, oh, it's just, you know, I just love old people. She said, I just really love old people. She said, you know, I lost my nan recently. And, you know, it just, you know, I just feel a bit tender about that. Again, so I said, oh, I'm really sorry to hear that, you know. Anyway, so I asked her her name, and I said, I asked her where she worked. And it turns out that she worked um, in a beauty uh, in a beauty salon, which was opposite where, um, those who don't know, where Rachel lived, where Rachel used to go and get her nails done. And so I said, oh, I know a friend of mine who works in there. And it turns out she knew Rachel. So we was, we was just sort of chatting. And um, I said, oh, she said, oh, so how do you know her? And I said, oh, she goes to my church. Then we just got chatting. And she went, oh, you go to church? I went, yeah, yeah, we do. And then, you know, we had, then all of a sudden this conversation about, about God just opened up and about, um, about Jesus. And it was just so, she, her heart was so, so open. And, um, you know, then anyway, it was, she was going, oh, I've been here ages. And so I sort of said to her, well, hopefully, you know, it, the time will go. And it was the most weirdest of things. Some, then some someone, uh, because the clinic was packed, someone was in, so someone, a little old lady came out from having uh, had the ticket in her hand, and she said, oh, I don't want this ticket, does anyone want it? So she looked at me, and so I said, oh, thank you, okay, I'll take it. So I said to this girl, um, her name was Anna, I said, are you sure she, you don't want it? So she went, no, 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 I'm only going to be, you know, there's only more, a couple more people in front of me. I went, oh, are you sure? So I went in, had my blood done, and then um, I sat there and I thought, Lord, what am I going to do? Well, I, just, I was just asking, Lord, and I just felt the Lord just say to me, be courageous, be bold, and just ask if you could pray for her. And I was just sitting there thinking, oh, Lord, really? It's absolutely heaving with people out there. And she was told, she'd already told me that she was starting up, she was setting up a business. So I was like... Um, Oh Lord, it's just it's so busy, and again I, I just felt you say, be bold and be courageous. So I had my blood taken, got up, we just went out, and as I went out there, I, I, she said, oh it's so lovely meeting you, and then I just said to her, oh you know can I pray for you? And she went, uh, what, now, and I went yeah I'd really love. I said can I just pray for you? So she said I'd love you to pray for me. 
how I just prayed, and, just, and there was people surrounding us, you know, there was people on one side and the other, people could hear, and I just put my hand lightly on her, and just prayed that God would bless her, that he would, in, he would bless her new business that she had started, that God would bless and, and restore the relationship that she had with her mum, because we talked about so much within that short space of time. And you know what? It was just so amazing. You know, she, I just said to her, look, can, you know, I said, can I just swap numbers with you? And she said, yes. So we swapped numbers. And it, it was just amazing. So it was just at Christmas time. And she said, oh, I'd love to meet up for a coffee. But because we wasn't able to do that. Um, so after Christmas, I just literally texted her again and said, look, are you ready to, would you like to meet up? But her business had taken off so well that she didn't have the time. But anyway, despite all that, we kept in touch. And, you know, she's doing really, really well. But the one thing that came out of it for me um, is that, you know, I, I had to listen to the voice of the Lord just saying, be strong, be courageous, do what I have asked you to do. And you know what, if I hadn't have done that, you know, uh, I probably would not have prayed with her. She texted me just a little while ago to say, I just want to say thank you for praying with me. She said, my business has just taken off unbelievably and I think it's all down to, to you praying with me. So this isn't about me being lifted up and because that's just what I do. I would just go and whatever, you know, someone needs prayer, I'd ask if they want prayer. This is just saying, be bold, be courageous. If the Lord asks you to do something, do it. Just step out and do it. Don't be afraid. Don't be, just don't think, oh, you know, you know, they probably don't want to hear what I've got to say. But you know what? People's hearts are open. This is the time. This is a season now for us to start. Um, speaking into people's lives. So, today the word is be bold and be courageous. Um, I love you all. I just hope and pray that you're all well and hopefully see you soon. Much love to you all.